Irene Regelsworth began her life in Graz, Austria with her brother and two very strict parents. She was accustomed to a very wealthy life and attended private school. She learned five languages and learned to play the piano. She loved this city so much and often attended many social outings. Her parents begged her to increase her international experience and religious attendance, but she would have rather spent her time exploring the city. On March 12, 1938, Irene's world came to a halt. Hitler had just taken over Austria and her home was no longer the same. Her Jewish friends now wore the patch and many never returned to school. Her beautiful city was now a scary sight and walking through the streets seeing the Nazis made her sick to her stomach. Her city was now in ruins and her family was at risk. As one of the wealthiest families in Graz, they hid in their house and tried to stay away from the Nazis. Although they weren't Jewish, Irene had seen and heard of bad things happening to people with Jewish friends. Her favorite opera house was hit by a bomb and remained in ruins. One day, a shrapnel bomb hit a nearby building and the shards dug into her skin. To this day, she still has these scars from the war. Throughout all of this, she was engaged to be married to a man, set up through an arranged marriage by her parents. She felt trapped and anxious. She wanted to leave this place and move on. She left all of her family behind without saying goodbye and went to Rome. She started to work for an international company as a continental manager and started at the University of Florence shortly after. She then moved to Paris and began working as a dossier at the world-famous Louvre. She also studied at the French Alliance of Paris and met her future husband. Her husband was in the military and was then stationed in London. Irene became pregnant and was pleasantly surprised at how friendly the American doctors were on base. Living in London became a traumatizing experience for Irene. Many detectives hired by her family were looking for her. Her husband decided that it was time to return to the States and welcome their new baby. She began thinking about America. She pictured the hills of New Mexico and arrived in Montana after a very bumpy flight. Irene welcomed her firstborn child in Montana and soon after her husband graduated from the military and began his career. Irene and her husband built their first house and she was proud at the fact that she could finally call herself a housewife. With all of her knowledge in languages, many international guests came to her home, including the ambassador of India at the time. She was then extended a formal invitation to the Palace of India by the Prime Minister. When she returned to Montana, she realized it was time to settle down and focus on her family and her own work. She told her husband that it was time to settle down and pick a place for their family that would be their forever home. They chose the small town of Boise, the capital of Idaho. She began writing different nature articles for various magazines throughout the country. She also wrote several children's books and started an international club. The International Club focused on promoting good fellowship, fun and peace. She hosted many events throughout the community and was the star of a Dutch play hosted by the club. Today, she spends most of her time antique shopping and goes back to Austria every few months to visit her brother and remaining family. Irene's heart still belongs to Austria. Every day, you can hear her mention that she would move back if her family would join her. She says that home is wherever you leave everything you love behind, in the hopes that it will be there when you return. 